There's a story that La Pampa started because there was a person that had a small coconut plantation. And then one day there was a windstorm and many of the trees fell over and their roots were showing. The story goes that he saw a glint in the sand around the roots of this upturned trees and he thought that that might be gold. Word got out that there was gold in the sand and sediments of the area that was later known as La Pampa. At first, a couple miners came, then a couple dozen came, a couple hundred came. It resulted that over 10,000 miners invaded this area that was right up against the Tamapatha National Reserve, one of the most biodiverse parts of the Amazon in Peru. La Pampa is a place of extreme silence, of desolation. The sounds of the animals, of the water dripping from leaves are all gone. It's just quiet. Artisanal mining, if done irresponsibly, can cause severe effects on biodiversity. Because it's such a disruptive activity, it essentially destroys the landscape and anything that lives on top of it, in the soils and underneath the soils, essentially sterilizes these landscapes. In Madre de Dios, there was a plan to improve a dirt road that connected the capitals of two states. That went from a muddy two-track to a modern highway that cut the travel time from two weeks to six hours. That road essentially created a perfect storm where the price of gold a brand new road and the existing poor governance combined in an area that had high gold content in soils and sediments under rainforests to incentivize an estimated 60,000 people to travel from different parts of the country and enter this area and then start the whole scale strip mining of the Amazon. Thirty percent of the land that was previously forest is now a series of mining ponds. In a place where you have 10,000 hectares destroyed, you now have 3,000 new potentially contaminated lakes. New animals have to find and colonize that area. It becomes a stopping ground for migratory birds and all these animals and plants and microorganisms may be exposed to high levels of mercury because that's one of the byproducts, one of the contaminants from artisanal gold mining. We don't know too much about this. Places like Madre de Dios and other large artisanal mining sites that use mercury to capture gold are essentially huge experiments in the landscape. We're just starting to do the science. We don't have very good answers yet, but we're trying.
this technology will allow us to create mega reforestation tree nurseries to produce the millions of seedlings needed to reforest areas as big as La Pampa. One of the things that I see as the most promising way to solve problems is not to come up with something from scratch, but to look around to see how things have been solved in other areas. The major gaps in this work are related to how you collect data, how you understand the money, and how you can have people change their behavior and try something new if you have a new technological solution. There is an intrinsic value for maintaining the diversity of our planet. We're no longer populations that we do something and then things will get better in a couple years or a couple decades even. Our activities may have centuries or millennia before things revert back. What we're trying to do is maintain the system that we value and that our societies, our cultures have evolved because of. So if we are to preserve ourselves, we need to preserve the environment as well.